And our top story at five this Monday evening, the CDC is warning tonight about a parasite that could be in a pool and it could make your family sick. Good evening once again to you. I'm David Oliver. And I'm Heather Lewis. Thanks for joining us tonight at five. That parasite is called Cryptosporidium and comes from feces in the water. Color 10's Nigel McDonald spoke with local health officials and is here to explain what they say you should do to help prevent getting sick. Nigel. David and Heather, health officials say chlorine filters aren't enough to get rid of the bacteria nicknamed crypto. And the CDC reports an uptick of cases in recent years. Local health officials are warning you of waterborne illnesses before hitting the pools and lakes. Their warning comes after a recent CDC report shows a fecal parasite transmitted through swimming pools is on the rise. Cryptosporidium uh, can survive up to seven days in swimming pools, even when the swimming pool has proper chlorine levels. Nicknamed Crypto, Finley of the Springfield Green County Health Department says the parasite is transmitted by swallowing contaminated water. If there are um, parasites in the water, you're going to get that from getting water in your mouth. Finley says to avoid visiting a public water source if you're ill, as this can increase the chances of spreading a bacteria or parasite. If you have something like this parasite and it gets into the water source, other people aren't going to know. Um, and it can be in that water source and infect other people. And it can be very difficult uh, to get rid of once it's in the pool. Jenny Edwards of the Springfield Park Board says staff monitors water levels multiple times a day. In the event that something's gotten into the pool that shouldn't be in there, we uh, will evaluate it uh, based on a chart that the lifeguards keep. Edward says the evaluation determines the staff's response. Anywhere from just removing the substance from the pool and checking that the chlorine uh, was where it needed to be at the time of the incident. If it is up to a type 7 level incident, we would need to close the pool and um, that was, that's when we would go into the hyperchlorination. Now, in addition to public pools, the health department says crypto can also be present in lakes and streams, which is why Finley says it's important not to swallow water while out swimming and cooling off from the heat. And here's a fact most people don't know. The CDC says anyone suffering from diarrhea should avoid swimming in a pool for at least two weeks after the illness subsides.